hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud so this is the video number three on our citrix training we have already configured our active directory now it's time to configure our database so this is the control layer where we are going to configure our sql database to configure sql database first of all we are going to create a new server uh, create a new virtual machine click on next now we are going to name our sql server ctx sql svr01 click on next next and this is the ram we are going to assign to our sql server i'm going to assign 2 gigs of ram now we need to select our switch for the hyper v this is the external v switch i have created for the hyper v click on next uh, for that I need to assign hard disk size so I am going to assign 70 gigs of uh, GB of uh, hard disk click on next here we need to assign the ISO image so click I have put the SQL uh, I mean Windows Server 2019 image here so select that image click on open click on next and then finish so our SQL server is uh, and the SQL server virtual machine is now ready to configure so click on start so it's booting uh, we are creating a new server for the SQL now we need to select language click on next next here we are, I am going to select windows server 2019 standard installation click on next I accept next this is the hard disk I am going to assign to install the operating system click on next and yeah it will take some time for the installation meanwhile I am going to pause this video and let's come back after installation So guys my server is back after installation let me con quickly configure this so first i am going to change my server name sysgm.cpl click here change the computer name ctx sql svr zero one okay click on close restart later go to the run then ncpa.cpl change the network settings assign a manual IP to here use manual IP 192 168 1.11 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.10 so this is our DNS IP this is our default gateway and this is the server IP I mean SQL server IP so as you know in the DHCP we have excluded the range from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.150 so 150 IP we have reserved uh, to assign these servers manually and go to the restart so my server is back after installation now let me join the server to the domain click on systm.cpl click on change enter your domain name ctx cloud ctxcloud.in click on ok ctxcloud slash administrator r and we are ok so 
let me quickly join this server to the domain so my quick will take two or three i mean two or three seconds okay it's saying password incorrect click on ok okay now it's welcome to the ctx cloud so it's joined in the domain uh, one more settings i'm going to change uh, to allow this server for the remote access click on ok apply and then restart so my server is back after reboot uh, go to the other users click on ctx cloud slash administrator and then the password so my server is back to the normal uh, go to the run and let me uh, uh, switch off the firewall so that it can communicate with all our, our servers in the production hour we will uh, in the production environment we will allow the ports but here we are it's a test environment so we don't need uh, to allow the fire i mean ports if we will power a uh, turn off the firewall that's enough for us so just turn off all these and click on ok now i'm going to uh, increase the ram so for that i need to like uh, power off this virtual machine because in the hyper v while running you cannot change it uh, if i'll go to the uh, settings and you can see here memory and i cannot change it to uh, dynamically expanding so for that i need to power off this virtual machine so quickly i go, can go inside virtual machine and click on shutdown so now i can check and that memory will increase dynamically if it, if server need is, needs then it can automatically assign memory for itself so click on OK, OK and apply. Now just power on this virtual machine and meantime just is, uh, mount the SQL Server ISO. So go to the DVD drive, click on browse and it's the SQL, SQL Server 2019 standard ISO. So just click on and OK and then apply OK. So let's connect to the SQL Server via RDP. So connect server as, give the credentials and click on OK. So you can see that it's loading by ctx cloud slash administrator. So this server has uh, the admin rights to install everything. Now click on this icon, I mean file explorer. and you can see that sql server iso is already mounted on this server and just click on right click and open go to the server setup and run as administrator go to the installation and new SQL Server standard installation. Okay, product key is already. Uh, it's already picked up. Uh, I mean, product key. I'm going to click on next. I accept next. next so it will check the prerequisites i mean if there is uh, any update or anything pending over while installing so it will automatically check these things so let's wait for some time 
so guys server is back after checking updates so click on next so here uh, we need to select some options to configure our database so i'm going to select database engine services client tool connectivity and that's it for now click on next So I am going to use the default name MS SQL Server. Click on next. So here is the SQL Server agent. I am going to select this automatic. And the SQL browser is also automatic. Click on next. So it's asking for the windows authentication and SQL uh, mixed mode so I am going to select mixed mode. Here I need to give the uh, I mean password for the SC account. And that's fine click add current user. So this is the windows authentication and this is the SQL server authentication I mean SA account authentication so it's currently uh, it's in mixed mode click on next and then install so it will take some time meanwhile I'm going to pause this video and let's uh, meet back so guys you can see that our installation has been finished so all the components has been installed so I'm going to click quickly close on this and let me install one more component for the SQL Server Management Studio. For that, uh, I need to download it from the internet. So let me download and let me come back. I'm going to click here, install SQL Server Management Tools. So it's going to the Microsoft sites and this is the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio latest version. So I'm going to download it from internet. Okay, click on save as and I'm going to put it on downloads. So our download has been finished so click on open folder and run as administrator. Click on install. And this will load some packages and then it and this will install so I'm going to pause this video on until the installation has been finished so guys our installation has been finished and it's, uh, it's asking for the report let me report this server and uh, let's come back My server is back after reboot and let me connect uh, to the database so here I'm going to SQL server management studio let me search that okay uh, just wait just wait okay this is the SQL server management studio so click on that <coughs> It will take some time to load so just wait so my SQL server management studio is ready to connect the database so uh, I have entered the server name so my server is ctx sql server 01 
and I by default it selected the Windows authentication so click on connect and here we go so our database is configured properly one more thing you guys need to check is SQL Server is uh, connecting via I mean SA account so I mean it, it is configured on uh, mixed mode so for that just click on exit first of all you can check from here right click go to the properties and in the journal and you can see that in the security SQL server authentication mode is enabled and that's fine you guys need to check only this that SQL server authentication mode is enabled click on ok now click on uh, exit again you need to check it via SA account for that you guys need to go on the SQL Server 2019 and then SQL Server Management Studio and here uh, for the Windows authentication you need to select a SQL Server authentication type SA and then the password which we have given while installation click on connect and that's fine so that's from uh, that's it from the sql server end so now after that we are going to install our license server for the citrix